Hi everyone and welcome to Poppy DIY Crafts. Today we're going to be doing another resin project. I have two items from Let's Resin that was sent to me to review. So thank you so much. This first item here is a box of glitter powder. There are 15 colors in here. So let's take a look. Thank you card. And these are chunky glitter. Look at them. Oh my goodness. They're so pretty. So we got 15 colors. Here are all the different colors. Oh, I like this one. Here's kind of a blush. The spring green is amazing. Let's see, we have a rose red, a gold, and a sky blue. Look how bright they are. Here is an orange, a brown, a purple. Ooh. And the last three here, we have a blue. This one is a red, and we have a sapphire blue. And I love that they come in bottles so that it doesn't get messy. I also received a mold from them. This one. So this mold here features the American flag. As you can see, there's like nine different styles and shapes, and each of them have a hole, so these are four keychains. They look really, really cool. I love the little heart shape. There is a star shape. This one is the shape of the country. And we even have one here that has USA instead of stars. So in the United States, the election is coming up really soon. So I thought it'd be a lot of fun to make some election related keychains. So let's use these chunky glitters in red, white, and blue or red, silver, and blue. In addition, I'm also going to be using my alphabet mold. This one, we are going to spell out the word vote. For the vote letters, we're going to be using gold. And as always, since we're using epoxy resin, make sure to wear an organic vapor respirator and some gloves. All right, let's get started. Let's go ahead and pour our first layer. Let's start by mixing our resin. We're going to separate the resin into smaller cups. And then we're going to add the glitter. Let's go ahead and start pouring the glitter into the mold. We're going to start with the gold. I'm not going to fill the mold all the way up because we're going to save some space for a second layer. We're going to fill out V, O, T, and E for vote. And it looks like I have some extra resin left over. So let's go ahead and fill in USA. We're going to pop the bubbles with a heat gun. Now moving on to the flag mold. I'm going to use red, silver, and blue. And we're going to alternate pouring the different colors into each of the molds. Again, we're going to pop the bubbles with a heat gun. Now we're going to let it sit for about 8 hours to cure. It's been about 8 hours and we are ready for our second layer. On the back of the gold, I'm going to use black ink mixed with some silver gray glitter. On the back of the flags, we're going to add a layer of white. With a craft stick, I'm pushing the resin to the edges. Now we'll wait another day for it to fully cure. Alright everyone, so it has been a day and the resin is completely cured. So let's go ahead and pop them out. And demold them and take a look here's our e oh my goodness look how shiny this is 
Oh wow, I love this glitter. I love the chunky glitter because it has different sizes in them. This is really pretty. Here is the O. Oh my goodness. Here's the V. And let's get the T out. Here's the T. Okay, so our boat is ready. Now we have the flags. So we have nine different shapes. Let's start with this one. Oh, this is really pretty. There's also this one. It's so easy to remove from the molds. The star one. Here's another one. Oh, I like this heart one. Here's the United States. Here's another one. And our last one. This one says USA on it. So this one has the letters USA on the upper left hand corner. So what I'm going to do is take my gold pen and we are going to trace over it. I'll take one of these and loop it through the hole. Okay. Next, we're going to drill a small pilot hole into each of the letters. I find that the resin is less likely to crack if you drill a pilot hole first. I'm using a small electric drill. You can also use a hand drill to make this hole. In the holes, we're going to tighten in an eye screw. And connect the eye screws with a round jump ring. And there you have it! We have a large boat keychain with an USA flag on it! Let's go ahead and make another set of keychains using the letters USA and another flag piece. Alright everyone, so here are the two keychains that we made today. Aren't they sparkly? And we still have quite a few more extras. So this was a really fun mold and I really love the glitter too. It is so, so sparkly. And as a reminder, we do have a very important election coming up in November. So if you're over 18 years old and American citizen, make sure to go and vote. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye!